In today's Python lesson, we're going to talk about processing user input. So in order to do so, we will use the raw input function. And what this will do is it'll prompt the user to input some data. And it will return the user input into a variable. So we need to give a variable to store the input. And once we have that data, we will then print it to the screen. So let's go ahead and save that and then we'll run it. And as you can see, it accepted our user input and exported, or excuse me, outputted the word or name Tom to the screen. Well, that's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward and simple. So let's expand on this a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead and save that and let's run it. Hello, Tom, you are 32 years old and were born in the month of June. So I think you can see what's happening here. You know, we're asking the user for data, they're inputting it, we're storing it into variables and then we're printing it to the screen. So why don't we write a little program that simulates a login prompt. So we're going to use what we've learned thus far in the first three lessons and write this program. So let's write a function called display login. And this will simply just output a login prompt to the user. Why don't we actually turn this into a function? Mm, no, let's not, let's not. Let me think about how uh, we wanna do this. Yeah, that's fine.
So the top function is just going to be the welcome screen whenever they first attempt to log in. And then our get login will actually return their login name. So we'll want to make this a raw input. And then remember we need to give it a variable. So let's go ahead and create some variables. Okay, so we're storing a login name of HackHappy, which will have the password secret. And these variables here will be used to take the user's input for the login name and password. Now, actually, we don't need this. This will be for a future video. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, and then we have four functions here, and they each um, serve their own purpose. Um, the first one, the display welcome, is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to display this message to the user when the program first runs. Uh, next, we have a get user credential function. This is going to uh, ask for their 
login name. We should call that get user login. And then it will return the login name. And we have get user pass. It will ask for their password and return the password. And then lastly, we have a function display login credentials, which will display what the user typed in. So now we need to actually call these routines. So first we'll display the welcome. And then, so actually I just realized we don't need this here. Don't need that there either. Okay, so that will display the welcome message. Then we're going to get the user's login. We're going to get the user's password. Oops. Then we're going to display the login credentials. So actually, let's change this. And then we'll pass the login and password to the function. And it will display the data. Okay, so let's go through this. This is just declaring our variables. Um, this section is declaring all of our various functions. And this is the actual logic of the code that will get executed uh, when the program first runs. So the code will start to execute here. It will come up. It will print this to the screen. It'll return back and it'll go to the get user login. It'll ask the user for the login name and return what they inputted. That will then get stored in the I login variable. The same thing will happen for the password and the password will get stored in the I pass variable. And then lastly, we'll display the credentials to the screen by calling the display login credential function, which has two parameters of the login name and password. So let's go ahead and save this, run it, and see if uh, everything's working. And we have a problem. So we have a syntax error at the git user login. Ah. Forgot my colon. think let's try all right so as you can see it displayed the welcome message and now it's asking for our login name and now it's asking for our password And then you can see it displayed back to us our login name and our password. Well, there you have it. That's how you accept uh, user input and then process it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, throw me a thumbs up. It is definitely motivating for me to make more videos. And I will see you guys on the other side.